Hi there friends, Kawa here. Uh, so this is the start of another season. Uh, this is light season and uh, we just recently got Peony who is the new light mythic hero. Uh, so this season is going to be an interesting one, at least I think it is, because uh, she is a dancer and that's going to allow us to do some uh, crazy shenanigans in my opinion. Uh, but uh, I'm going to really quickly before we start uh, introduce the five teams that I'm going to be bringing with me for Ether Raids. Uh, just a really quick view of them. Um, as this season uh, that we're in right now is Water Earth and Fiorm is the bonus unit. We are going to be tanking with Fiorm. Uh, it's mainly because she has really inflated stats thanks to um, her being a bonus unit. So this team here is just Peony. Uh, base kit. I just gave her Wings of Mercy. Nothing special here. Uh, Air here is holding life and death so that she can soak chills uh, in the event that we need air to. Uh, Corrin is just Corrin. You know, my usual Corrin here. Nothing special. Uh, instead of being attached to Donald, he's attached to Fiorm this time. And this is Fiorm here. Uh, because she's a bonus unit, she's going to have an additional 10 HP uh, well, additional 20 HP thanks to the blessings too, and she's gonna have a ridiculous amount of uh, resistance, uh, defense, well, she's a ridic ridiculous amount of stats. And on top of that, my Fiorm uh, has bonus doubler, uh, seeing that you know, she has Lipter, so she doesn't need distant counter. Uh, so her tanking should be really easy. Uh, the second team here is the Broadleaf fan team. Uh, this is usually what I bring with me. On light season when um, I'm not tanking. Uh, Erica here is the bonus because I don't think I need a feel on here. Uh, she might be able to clean up because she's a like Gale Force unit, so I just put her there. Uh, and it's also easier to pick up uh, pots with a cavalry unit compared to an infantry. Um, here we have Ophelia. Uh, I'm really thinking this team is just a filler team because uh, with Peony and Azora being in season, I'm kind of allowed to cheat with double dancers and um, Ophelia. Uh, nothing really special here to see. She's just, you know, usual base kit um, Ophelia. Uh, this team here is my anti-armor team. Uh, it runs Nana. Um, and, you know, it's just double dancer now because we're in the water season. And the bonus unit here is uh, Erica instead of um, Fiorm. Just mainly because I don't think I need Fiorm that much. And after we weaken them, uh, Erica can just pick them off with Gale Force. And the final team here is the Witchy Wand team. Um, not everyone obviously has one, but I like to keep one handy in the event that I run into infantry pulse. Uh, Jenny here is the one who holds the Witchy Wand. So the cost of this team is really simple. You run in with Jenny, hit them with the witchy wand, and you set all their infantry pulses. And then um, Fiorm here is going to tag her, her out, and then Fiorm is just going to tank them because you know they don't have their instant specials no more, so they do not threaten Fiorm that much. Alrighty, so we're just going to start it up now. Kranya is our first opponent. Let's see. Uh, minus speed plus defense. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, let's see what's up here. Uh, um, wait, that's vantage. Oh, desperation. Interesting. Our duel flying on Hartha. Okay. Uh, you corner you with no seal. And Book of Shadows, Little Zero. Plus 10. Ooh, invested. Um, level 2 Panic Manor. Um, I don't see a reason why I can't just plop Fjorm right here. And kill them all. I'm not seeing a reason why I can't do that. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not seeing a reason why I can't do that. So 
So, um, bonus Fiorm is just ridiculous. That's all I really want to say. She's beyond ridiculous because of the stats that she has. Like, just look at that. She has 60 attack. So, uh, you know what? Even my life and death is not able to uh, be soaked by air. I mean, uh, the, the, the chills. There's no way I can soak anything for her because her stats are just so damn high. She has 40 defense, 49 res, 60 attack, and 45 speed with like 70 HP. She, she's just like ridiculous. She's like abyssal mode right now. And then on top of that, she has bonus leveler. So she's going to gain 12 to all stats when uh, Azura dances her. And she's going to gain another 4 in combat stats from Corrin. And then Corrin has drives. So it's ridiculous. She's gaining like almost 20 more stats just being in combat. It's sickening when Fiorm is... Uh, a bonus unit and it's water season that's the main reason i invested into her she's actually really really good when it's you know if the seasons align and you're allowed to use her um in ether raids uh okay let's see i believe this is the correct setup uh gonna be here uh, we can move her here so we can gain more no actually we don't need it because we're going to get all the buffs from Azura anyways, which she has home attack 4. Okay. I think the tricky part is getting the pots, but... We can just bait Yoon over and then just send um, Air over here to go pick him up. And we have double the answers, so we should be able to do that no problem. Alright, uh, let's start by setting up. Like that. Orders, please. Wait, let's make sure she doesn't have boots. There's armor marks, so she can't get to us. Like that. We want to keep Azura nearby. Yeah, we're just gonna break everything first. We'll spend one turn breaking stuff so we can set up. Yes. All right. Okay. Uh, let me just double check everything. I'm pretty sure nothing reaches us. Walk up there. Good morning. Um, let's just start moving sideways so that we can start moving towards those pots up there. All right. Thirteen dead. Oh, I forgot to turn on animations again. Um, so I'm so sorry, guys. But uh, everything's just gonna die here. N nothing is gonna hurt for your arm. Like absolute nothing. Well, it's a little late to turn on animations, but I'll still turn them on. Uh, okay. Uh, so now we just gotta play keep away with, um, with Yoon over there. Uh, we can leisurely step on that trap and not care. Like this trap here to kill the snow fam. Or we can just step on this trap here to take the fountain. Uh, Shavazura. Maybe this 
way. Well, you can just end turn and see where Yoon wants to go. And we'll just kill her now with air. Uh, this guy was just really easy, but it's also, you know, Orders, cheating Fjorm here <laughs> is so ridiculous. She gets almost 20 more to each stat, so she has a inflated res, inflated defense. It's like, nothing. Nothing is going to hurt her. At all. And with 69 HP, there was no way a panic man was going to catch her. Her only thing she has to be afraid of is, like, uh, a panic staff user. Alright, easy day one. Uh, the arm is cheating, that's all I gotta say. Alright, time for day two. Let's see what we get. Yoon? Oh, what is this? Blazing Durando Gale Force. Okay, that's not a problem. Uh, infantry Pulse. Pulse infantry. Okay, so the only real troublemaker here is this Veronica here because I don't have I don't have a null C ready. So I'll eat bolt tower damage. I initiate on three. I don't have, realistically have a way to smite in either. Uh, yeah, there's no good opening to smite. So... Maybe I'll just face paint? There's only one opening. And then it's here. I got face tank here. Pretty sure we can just face tank here. And be fine. Especially if we wait for the bolt tower. If we wait for the bolt tower, because they have no healing tower. Uh, I should be in the tank, and Veronica should not attack unless she has a... No, she should not attack if it's a heal target. So, I should be able to just sit here. Or here. And bait him out. And then we'll just move forward to kill her later. I think it works. Um... So, getting the pots are going to be a little bit annoying, but I think we can do this. We can run it with, uh, Fjorm. Actually, is there another Fjorm team I have that maybe can do this? Mm, no. Okay, let's go with this one. Double Dancers. Okay, so we're not starting yet. So, we will move people out of the way. Uh, move it like this. We're going to wait for turn three before we initiate. And then when we initiate, we're going to make sure we get far enough in there so that uh, none of this really becomes a problem. Alright, so I'm gonna start by first clearing up stuff to make room. So, let's break this first. Maybe this way. Break that. Uh, I would love to break that panic manner, but I'll break it afterwards. Because it's one, two, three. No, they can reach. Veronica can reach to here. So, if I attack them here. I mean, if I break it there, um, is it lunch? No, he doesn't. 
So yeah. Oh wait, he has desperation. Uh, I don't think I care about his desperation. I don't think he does enough to actually hurt my super feeling. Okay, let's just end turn. Okay, I was correct that they could get there. Uh, okay, in one turn's time. Prepare to get into position. In turn. Actually, it doesn't even have to be this turn because uh, they don't have a healing tower, so I can just do it whenever I feel like it. But As you say. we are going to be losing speed. The glimmer of life. Right, Ready. Take that. Off. Her AI should make her heal. I'm relatively sure of that. Orders, please. That was real. We'll just stand here. Yep, there goes the heal. She should keep healing unless she has a kill. And if she can't kill Fjorm, she's going to just keep healing. And we knew Roy was gonna die. Okay. Uh, she does one heal, two dances. I don't want to step on the trap without knowing is it real or not, because that's a dangerous play. How about yes. I come here? Yeah, see, even without the trap, I can't kill because I am eating all the debuffs. Okay, so I'm gonna come here. Wings of Mercy shenanigans, but I don't. I think she's just gonna bounce between these two healing, and we should be able to kill Sulphus no problem. And then with this, we can pour it up. Uh, she should. Reach so she doesn't have a kill again. So we can break that. Good morning. Use peel and to dance. Good Actually, wow, I can barely kill her. Okay, um.
I think the play here is to regroup and make sure we're not in the way. Okay, recovery, as I suspect to get again. So she's gonna get the dance. She's gonna heal you now. And then Minion can't reach. Sophus dies here. Wow, even with Spectre, she gives it Ah, Fjorn, you are so broken when you have bonus stats. Perfect. So there's just Veronica left now. Uh, she doesn't have any more heals, so she is uh, going to attack and do nothing. Oh, uh, I, I guess she just average blows me. Uh. Okay, so this is where it's tricky. I need to attack her in a way where she dies. But Micaiah doesn't reach us. Hmm. I, no, I have a way to body block her. Because if I attack now in the way that in like if I attack from here, Minion dies. What turn is this? Five seven. Uh. Let me get to this pot. That's the one that's hard. This one here is easy. Uh, probably send Corrin on this mission? Let's see, how did I kill Veronica without killing both of them? 40 res to her 56 when she's attacking. Uh, she shouldn't be able to kill me. And then Minion will not be able to reach us if we're attacking from here. Oh wait, no, we don't even reach. Uh... Maybe this way. Yes. We're gonna have to use Fjorn to pull this off. Okay, yeah. She does 12. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Nini is going to start walking over. Okay, uh... All right. Okay. Let's go. 
get over here so she can't reach us. Uh, take that down. Ready. And get them into position. Yeah, there's not many places Minion can go where I can't kill her. At least I don't see spots like that, so... I don't think I need to break anything. Worst case scenario is she comes down here. Then, then we have to test the trap to kill her. Let's see where she goes. Uh, okay, she went in the direction that I want her to go. And we'll just finish her off. Not bad. This is yet again um, knowing the AI's pattern uh, well enough that, uh, that made a difference. Knowing that Veronica will not attack as long as she has heal targets, so we initiate it only when the bolt tower went off. Alrighty. Pretty good, pretty good. Another day down. Alright, onward to day three. Is that Julia? I can't tell with that helmet on. Uh, yes, this is Legendary Julia. Double G. Kiki over there. Nothing special here. Nothing special. Nothing special. Nothing special. Uh, Sudden Panic. At 53 HP. Uh, nothing special. Okay, so. The formation here is interesting because these guys are locked in and Azura here doesn't have, oh, wait, no, she has guidance. She can't get out outside of Wings of Mercy. So nothing really stops us from killing Yoon over here. And then killing the rest of these two first, and then going to pick off the other side. Uh, I don't think I have to wait at all. Seeing they don't really have a way to stop Fjorm. The yeah, Fjorm is just so strong as a bonus unit, I don't see a way from them to do anything to her, so I might as well just go for it right away. We're just gonna turn one, um, kill them. Or, uh, well, turn one initiate. Uh, let's see. Let's go! Morning. I don't even have to worry about their panic, because... Yes. 69 HP, 60 HP... Like, their sudden panic and their panic now doesn't hit any of my units like that. Okay, uh, we're gonna... Bait from where this face that this face that she is. I'm gonna break it with air. Get the dance over here. Move Peony over here. As well as this beyond maximum stats, and we'll have the ability to uh, teleport around better. Break that. Ready. I'm gonna break that. Uh, at some point we might just break that panic mana to let Julia out. Uh, because it might be a nuisance on us. When they can actually when they actually hit the and get her life low enough. But, oh my god, look at this look at these stats. So ridiculous. 
Okay. Uh, As you say. We we'll move straight up to bait. Uh, do I even need a Zoro's dance? Mm, probably not. So we're just gonna move Corey over here to further his, uh, the boss into Furon. Oh, yep. Resort into position. Zero times three. Uh, we don't expect any less. Second thought, maybe I shouldn't have moved Azura because now I'm thinking about it. I might want to be from under here. Kill these two. Um, let's see. Orders, please. Okay, if we move into position there, we can move. We can shuffle some units around to get there, I think. Okay. Yes. Come over here. Yeah, that trap was real. So it's only turn two. I'm in no real rush to get there. Uh, yeah, we'll eliminate the cipher. Let's get the pots and kill Julia. Last. Let's move Corrin up. Let's take that. Good morning. Move over here and break this dark shrine. Go so over here and move air out of the way. And let's just move air over under Azura here. Oh, a full tower too. Forgot about that. Um, I'll just kill the healing tower so he doesn't have any heals. I'm 99% sure that even this baseline Fjorn can take on these two. And I'm just gonna go kill Julia right now. I, I forgot Bolt Tower was there. If we're not Bolt Tower, I'm not sure if she could kill Julia. Especially while well, she was under panic before. So now that she's no longer under panic. Uh, huh, let me see, let me roll this. I think it's cool. Hmm. Let me see. She's able to kill Tiki too, apparently. So, we might as well just kill them off now. And this is why Air is like one of the un most undisputed best mythic heroes there is. It's just simply because she's so ridiculously good. Um, Corrin's not gonna reach us, so we can just play keep away with her. Okay, then we can just end turn here. Did not attack before Azura. That means she obviously cannot get the kill. And she probably doesn't like, make the image. Oh, she has six. Okay. okay, so now we have to play keep away with her. 
Actually, do I even need to play Keep Away? Uh, let's compare the stats first, just to be safe. 63... Plus solo puts her to 69 attack. Uh, 69 attack. She's not doubling me. So, 69 attack to my 109 bulk. She will definitely die. No questions asked there. Um, I think I can just do this. And it should be fine. And, you know, just because I can, you know, bring air over here. close to doing it. So, let's just... Like that. Because we can. Maybe this way. But we can. I mean, we're just making moves, don't matter. Because I'm 99% sure Fjorm is not going to die. Except for a soul, there's no way she's gonna kill us. Because we would just heal, and then she does nothing and dies. Okay, we're using that uh, S, uh, HM out of it. Alright, that was relatively easy. Seeing they kind of boxed in their own units. That's something I don't ever suggest people to do. Don't box into units like that. It's just bad. Alright, day four, friends. Uh, the enemy team is a little interesting. There is Double Azura, Om here. Uh, I think this is a plus 10. Yeah, that's a plus 10 Mer. Uh, plus 5 Ophelia Harley Bearing. Uh, I don't know what the Starfish does. I'm actually not too familiar with this equipment. Uh, okay, so it's desperation. Okay, got it. Um, I think I can just solve this. I don't see a reason why I can't. I should be able to kill all of them in one shot if I just kill Ophelia to take away the hardy bearing. But then the issue that it poses is if I kill them all in one shot, I'm not able to take the Aether. But I can hold out and maneuver my way towards these two because these are not super protected. So yeah, I'm gonna go with Soph. Uh, broadly fan it. Alright, we're gonna put Peony over here. We'll have her, uh, take this fountain. This three. She should be able to stand where this block is, and it shouldn't be an issue. And we'll have Air over here move into place to take this, uh, pot up here. Yeah, and then we'll smite from here, walk up and kill uh, Ophelia. Uh, the panic banner shouldn't really affect me. And they all have neg stats, so we should be good. Only what I'm really worried about is Mer, But she's going to have neg... Seven to attack and defense. And I, well, she's gonna have. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, she's gonna have neg twenty one plus another three, so she has negative twenty four to her stats. 
Ather Sulf engages on Ophelia. I'm like pretty confident that we'll be able to kill. And in a panic manner, it's not going to reach us anyways. Just we'll be standing right over here. So we should be able to get away with a lot of stuff. Alright. What are you thinking? Like that. Maybe this way. Take that pot. Uh, let's get a Versa into position. Like that. Like that. Okay, we do see a small issue. That's the tactics room here. So we're just gonna... Make our way over there to break it. We'll take a few extra turns because I'm pretty sure I'll kill them all in one turn. So we can take a few extra turns to set up. Yeah, we'll just take an extra few turns to set up. I guess that drawback wasn't necessary. Um, yeah, we'll just enter it again. Engaging before would it, actually no, it would make a difference because Murray was gonna still be at 51 HP. Okay, we'll just take that. Might as well take that too while I'm here. And we'll end turn. So we're gonna have to engage next turn. So let's make sure we get everything done. Uh, there's armor march, but they won't be able to reach us here. Okay. All right, we're engaging next turn. Should kill everybody. Take that. Uh, let's make sure there's no shenanigans we gotta worry about. I don't see anything. The alternative play would be to test the trap in front of Sulf right now. Then use Peony to dance. Then we'll smite him in. So that I guarantee have vantage. If I need it. But if there is an advantage to not having vantage, and it's I just have more HP. Sure. Hmm. Like I said, this Murr is the one thing that's scaring me a little bit. But I don't think there's anything on the opponent's side that can one-shot us. Also turn this on. I'm 99% sure there's nothing that can one-shot us. And if nothing one-shots us, we have a good chance to just kill them. Alright, we're just gonna go for it. Here we go! Yep, 
Yep. Uh, I'm just going to... Dance here... Twenty damage, but doesn't advantage. Kills Om. So Murr's not attacking. So Murr not attacking already tells me that uh, they're all dead. Because if Murr had the kill, she would have attacked already. And now that I have Miracle back up, there's absolutely nothing that I'm worried about. But it was a little scary. Uh, but Murr's attack was actually low enough that I shouldn't have had to worry. Alright, another day cleared. Tier 24. Alright guys, starting up now. Ooh, what is this? A flyer ball. I haven't seen one of these in a while. Uh, who has the Hardy Baron? Nobody has the Hardy Baron. So, in this scenario, I believe. Cam is probably the most dangerous to me in this scenario. Yes, we need to take her axe away. If she's buffing too many people, we have to take her axe away. If I was to use salt. Um, we could engage with a bolt tower. But don't kill everybody, I'm gonna miss a pot, I think. A bit of a problem. But we could technically sacrifice one pot. Yeah, we'll just sacrifice one pot. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. How do I get that ether fountain? I think it's possible. Like with the help of Yoni, we'll be able to test both of these traps. How can this totally get out? Air a closer so we can try gather. Alright, yeah. so that one's fake. Uh, so that one's real. But we want to kill Cam, but that requires us to test the trap. Which I don't want to do. Wait. Air has drawback, so I can actually test it no problem. And there is no hardy bearing in sight, so. 
We can just test it, I guess. What are you thinking? Well, we, we're not testing anything. We know it's real. Uh, we'll just step on it. Kill cam here. And let's get out of here. There should be no one who can survive this. Because they're all debuffed and they all got hit by the bolt power and the bolt trap. And on top of that, Souls right now has a uh, brazen active, so realistically, there should be nothing that can survive this. So yeah, we have to give up one Aether Pop for this play, but it's fine. We'll, we'll get closing in on the end of the season, so one pot's not going to kill me. Alright, the second to last day of AR, let's get this started. Uh, that's a Pesh Cat. So. Is he win? Ike. There's three Ike, four Ikes. There's four Ikes. All with blazing wind. Uh huh. Um. There's no healing tower. Yeah, there's no healing tower. And there's no null seed as well. So. I don't see what's stopping me from just using Nana here. I'm just gonna use Nana here. <laughs> it, it, that looks like the solution here is just to use Nana and just do um Nana things. So Nana needs to be here. Let's send air over here to go take pots. Well, like that. Okay, the catapult gets that. Okay, whatever. Uh, break stuff. We just want to make sure we can actually hit him. Yeah. Oh man, I need to merge to avoid that tactics room. But we don't really care about the tactics room because we're just going to park ourselves there. And just go break stuff. Like, they're all going to start coming down, but. Nana is just gonna like weaken them by a lot. So at least take that. And there's no dancers, so we don't have to worry about them too much. We'll go after this bike first. Standing here, the only person who can hit me is Sof. Uh, Sof is gonna start moving. Well, they're gonna start moving now. Uh, do we care? Uh, 
Well, we break that. Can I kill? No, I cannot. Uh, okay. And we're just gonna start moving because they're gonna start coming down now. Perfect. Kill here. So now they're all low HP. We don't have to test traps or anything. We're just gonna take that. Get out of there. Uh, move me over and just go there. There we go. So we're gonna move here. Oh shit. You're this way. Wait, maybe if anyone else has some ridiculous movement skill. Um, that might get them in range to kill me. Test the trap. There's nothing to stop this from just walking into that trap. Like, absolutely nothing that stops me from just walking into that trap. He's in range of Soren now. Keep forming this little conga line for us, and we're just gonna keep attacking them because they're in a conga line. Trying to figure out how to get there to kill them. But they're probably just gonna stand there for a bit. Alright, let's just break stuff. Good morning. I'm gonna break stuff and get out of range in the event that. Um... Well, actually, no, it can't be this. He's gonna rally first. Uh, but. We'll still move back just in case.
morning. We could just go test the lightning drills, but <laughs> I would prefer not to. So we're just gonna retreat. And yeah, this can't reach us. And we'll just end turn here. Uh, this one was relatively easy. It was interesting that he had like a four eight, <laughs> but you know he was trapped in the corner there, so I could just you know hit them with pain and like let them be a conga line because they don't have any uh, dancers. All right, we're at tier twenty six. Uh, we have three more matches. Probably gonna start taking rematches now because I, I know there. Are at least three rematches I have, um, so I'm just gonna start taking those. Alright, this is the final day of Ether Raids. Uh, let's try to get to tier 27. Uh, I believe we can make it there in two wins, uh, and I believe I have three fights? Uh, unless my math is bad, but in, that's very likely. Uh, what is this? Is this an IP team? Yeah, this is an IP team. With double sulfurs. The threat here is the Kagero. Hmm. The Kagero has... The Kagura has an instant Luna. Uh, and a dance? Two dances. Uh, normally I would try to bring my witchy wand against this, but I think because this is a unmerged Kagero, I think Fjorn can just straight up tank it. It's not something that's going to panic her. Oh wait, there's a mini in here. Um, no, she still can't panic uh, Fjorn. Fjorn's stats are too high for her to panic. Uh, yeah, I don't... A threat, and then I can wait for the bolt tower because the healing tower only hits this side, and we'll be able to slaughter this side. Yeah, I think this is the right play. When in doubt, just tank it. Hmm. I just realized I forgot to fix the skills on my Fjorm. Um, actually, was Steady Sands 4? I feel that in Ice Mirror, there's definitely no reason why she can't tank Kagero. Well, let's find out. So we're gonna want to tank her from here. Yeah, we're gonna want to tank her from there. Yeah. And we're just gonna break stuff here. As you say. Doing good stuff. Yes. 
Yeah, sorry guys for the mess up. I, it's like really early in the morning right now for me. <laughs> and I really should have paid attention to this. Uh, let's see. He doesn't have a rally, does he? He swapped. Uh, you know, he, yeah, he gets, he, there's no, he's killing my corn either ways. Alright! See, my corn's not a pushover. Yeah, this way there's no opening for Kagaro to come kill us. Okay, rally. Dance. Rally again? So that means Kago didn't have a kill, so she instead danced? Or she just didn't have the movement? But it doesn't look like it matters here, seeing they're all about to die? Even though I don't have bonus doubler or anything on? Mystic boots were healing. So yes. we should probably play it extra safe and back off. As you say. Because we're getting hit by neck two, neck two, neck two? Oh, oh they're also neck twos. Okay, uh. We don't want to be near Azura because Azura is going to. get us hit by panic. The stream is with Sirius. Uh. I don't think she does anything to me, really. So I think all we really have to do here is yes. we can just kill her here, but, and we can just kill Kagero. Um, I'm with you. Hmm. But the issue is I can't. Well, oh, I could. I just need to move Corrin up, and then she can walk up and... Yeah. Uh, if she can... Yes. If she kills Kagura, no problem, so yes, there's no reason not to do this. Okay. Then you can just move Corrin up one. Come here and dance the arm? Kill Kagero. And then now nobody's in range of Minion. Um, we can just dance Corrin here.
and we'll break this tech fix in, get my life a little easier. Okay, this is relatively easy, even though I did mess up with the floor. Um, the IP was very tankable because it was just a Luna that was coming at me from, with Kagero, and if she was ridiculous bonus stats, it didn't matter. Okay, so we just need one more win, and uh, we only have one more fight? No, we have two, we have to have two. Oh no, we only have one. Oh. Um. Hmm. Okay, so. Before we do anything. Let's fix this. So I'm not using uh, the incorrect skills. Uh, I'm not studying stings. Golden Stumbler. Not real. Really um, this is between dull range and QR. I feel like she doesn't need QR, um, or quick repulse when her stats are so ridiculous. So maybe dull range is better. And then for her sacred seal, we'll just give her swift stance to increase her speed and res. Alright, short attack here. Uh, that's technically not correct, but uh, it's fine. Try to Power formation. Okay, a Versa here is not correct. Uh, yeah, these are the skills I was using for Arena, so sorry about that. Um, we still got the window. Uh, give you like a good second while he fixes up. <laughs> uh, it's not our duel. It's HP speed. Here is an axe breaker. Uh, Sacred seal is five HP. So she gives the tactics to Peony. Uh, that's technically not correct, but I don't think I'm using that team. Uh, Nana is correct. And yeah, that's all the teams. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I just remember, I'm supposed to take a rematch. Uh, yeah, it was this one I was going to take. 23, okay. This should be an easier match than fighting a tier 27 person. Uh, what is this? This team is... This team's locked in. What is the threat? Uh... Ron... No, Ron Owl Robin? With no merges. Sophus Base Kit. Uh... A Wings of Mercy Dancer who's locked in. Uh, what is this? Prom? Um... I see... No reason why I can't just do this with... Nana? If you don't have a triangle add up or anything. Uh, yeah, let's do this with Nana. And we don't have to get uh, pots anyway, so this should be relatively easy. And I could probably just start aggroing them right away. And place right here so that we can try to get kills. We'll trigger their wings of mercy, but we kill Robin in one shot, it doesn't matter. And this thing here on the top. But she should be able to reach. Uh, we're doubling her, but we don't kill her. Okay, we're just. Wait, the tactics room, we're just here, it's 55. Um. 
Alright, we'll just park ourselves over here while we set up. Five. Okay, now more than my pain stuff. Good morning. And because they're trapped in there, I don't have to care. This trap is probably real, but we have drawbacks, so it doesn't matter. Um, you can just move this end turn here if you wanted to. Um, break that? Yeah, nothing gets us. But nobody on their side moves either. Uh, that's okay, Yoon. Break that. Kill her. Uh, so uh, if Tom stays in place, we'll pick him off too. If Nana, um, and then there's just being Olivia in the corner. That's just going to be waiting to die. Okay, Tom's dead now. Oh, uh, that lightning trap is likely real, but then no trigger wings and- Oh, wow, it's like... Um, yeah, this map was overly easy, and this is why you take rematches. Because their lead unit was, um, oh, what's her name? Um, uh, uh, her name just slips my mind right now. Uh, it just made it ridiculously easy. Ooh, only 14. Alright, uh, that's it for offense. We made our right, AI uh, 227, even though there were some hiccups along the way, but uh, yeah, we got there. Alright, pretty good, pretty good. Until next week.